What's up everybody? I'm finally getting around to answering all the questions from my Ask Me Anything post. There is a lot of questions and I don't want to make this too long so I think what I'm going to do is break it up into some shorter videos. Um, so I know there's also some repeated questions so if your question doesn't get answered um, it's because it was answered before. So I'm going to just get started here. So the first question is from Nourishing Taylor. And if I butcher anybody's Instagram name, I'm sorry. Um, <clears throat> how did you and Eric meet? Eric and I met on match.com. Um, we were actually messaging back and forth on there, just kind of doing introductions and things like that. And I had asked him where he worked and then I went to the gym and saw this guy and he said something about my one of my tattoos and I remembered his eyeballs and later on went home to a message that he told me where he worked and it ended up being him. So really funny story there. Um, but yeah, we met on match.com. Cassafrasas. Cassafrasas. <laughs> How much cardio do you recommend a week? Uh, that's a hard question. It's dependent on the person. I believe cardio is something that everybody should implement in some form, but it needs to be something that's sustainable for your life. <clears throat> Tight Dog 101 says, how do you keep up with a busy body like Cam? Um, I just do. <laughs> Uh, luckily Cam has a great schedule, so he sleeps about 12 hours at night and naps for usually two, two, two and a half hours during the day. If any, what supplements do you and your husband use? Just protein powder, pretty much. Um, I'm obviously taking a prenatal and, um, some DHA. Tight Dog 101 again. Oh, sorry, that last one was from A Eagle 68. Tight Dog 101, what are you most afraid of and what are you looking forward to the most when Cam meets his new sister? I think I'm most afraid of um, Cam being a boy and being a toddler. He's very rough um, and uh, so I'm a little scared about that with a baby. And what am I looking forward to the most is definitely just seeing them interact. Um, obviously the baby isn't going to have much interaction for a while, but just seeing his, his reaction and, um, seeing how he ends up being, I've heard of, you know, that older siblings get very protective and things like that. So I'm very interested to see just how they are together. Um, <clears throat> tight dog 101 again. Do you plan on doing a baby name reveal for Kenrai 2 or tell us after arrival day? We have her name. We just are not telling people until she's born. Um, Katie Ridlon wanted to know how Eric and I met. Rebuild Fitness says, as an online coach, do you prepare your own taxes? What do you need to keep track of for tax purposes? That's a really funny question because I was just printing tax stuff before this. Uh, we have a tax guy that we started using when we opened our gym that we own. And so we've just used him and basically we had a meeting with him just kind of explained what we do because it's not like super well known to... Uh, to, to regular people. So, um, we keep track of, since we use PayPal, PayPal keeps track of all of our transactions and anything that is business related. I just use my PayPal, uh, account for, <clears throat> um, how do you guys maintain a busy life? Oh, Martika Marie Martinez. How do you guys maintain a busy life and still have time for the little ones? How will it affect having baby two? Um, well, we, Cameron's involved in everything that we do. So having a busy life, um, he, I guess, I guess I'm not really sure about this question. Um, so we are busy people. We do a lot of things, but we do a lot of things with Cameron. I guess time management would be the answer to that question. So our days are very structured, uh, I work 
Eric works when he sleeps. Um, sometimes, obviously, if we if one of us has more work or we need to do something, one of us will watch him and the other one can work. Um, thanks, Eric, for that. Sorry. <laughs> How will it affect having baby two? Um, it'll be more responsibility for both of us. Uh, Cam is very independent, though. Um, we obviously are supervised and we are present in situations and at the house with him, but he plays well by himself um, with his toys and stuff. And we can go outside and he'll run around the yard and things like that. He doesn't require a lot of, like, hands-on, I guess you could say. Um, but we do like to spend that time with him too. So I'm sure it will be an adjustment period and I can't exactly say how it will affect things because, um, I don't know yet, but we're busy people. We do a lot of things, but for the most part, Cam does everything that we do with us besides work. Um, Alyssa Passa, Eric mentions being a weird picky eater all the time, but are there any foods that you dislike? Yeah, actually, um, it's funny because we always joke, I don't really like lemon. I don't like a lot of citrus things in general. Um, and I don't love pumpkin either. So, but in the same sense, I won't not eat stuff just because it's that. If, you know, he does a review or something and he's like, oh, this lemon thing's really good. I'm like, oh, I'm not going to not eat that because it's lemon. So I can't really think of anything. Oh, beets. I hate beets. I hate beets. That's the food that I just can't. I can't eat beets. Um, Caw 316. So I know you breastfeed and do cardio in the morning before he wakes up. When were you able to start that? We are at eight months and I'm still bursting in the morning. I feel like I'll never get to do fasted before he wakes up. So the thing about breastfeeding is your body will adjust to whatever you do. So if you're uncomfortable um, in the mornings, you could always pump before you did cardio. Um, obviously, that's going to cause you to make more milk. But I don't know. I, I've never, I was never so uncomfortable in the morning um, that, uh, it would cause me not to be able to do cardio. Um, Lisa's happy life. How different or similar have your pregnancy symptoms been so far compared to being pregnant with Cam? Is this the last baby or do you hope for more? Um, symptoms have been mostly the same. Um, I had a little bit more, I, I would be kind of nauseous, but I didn't actually throw up until I got like that stomach virus that I had for like the three days. And even then I only threw up uh, on one of the days. So um, no real like morning sickness or anything like that, but definitely uh, felt a little more weird than I did with Cam. Um, this is the last baby. Two is enough for us. Uh, Bianca Gisi. Was Cam planned? Was baby girl planned? How are you feeling going from one to two babies? I feel like that's a very personal question. I mean, I guess it's asked me anything. But, uh, yeah, Eric and I plan everything. We're not... <laughs> we can be spontaneous, I guess. But when it comes to children and how serious we take parenting, um, it's definitely... Both of them were planned. Um, how am I feeling going from one to two babies... All sorts of emotions. Nervous, excited, um, all that kind of stuff. I think I was a little more nervous. Now I'm a little more excited. It's hard. I don't really worry. I know there will be a transition period, and it's, I know it's going to be hard. That's parenting in general. Um, but I also know that Eric and I having a good relationship and him being so helpful will uh, make a big difference. Chloe Graham, if you could go back and tell your younger self one thing, what would it be? Hmm. This is a hard question for me because I have a very rough past, but I wouldn't want to change anything about my past because that shaped obviously who I am today. And I think that it was very valuable for me to learn a lot of the lessons that I learned. So, um, I probably would tell myself to 
just take care of myself a little better. Um, I did not practice any sort of self-care or self-love for a very long time. Um, <clears throat> Carly Cakes. How did Team Pro Science start? How did you move into the online coaching world? So, it is my belief that in any career you need to pay your dues. So, I started at a local gym getting paid $7 a session for personal training. It was terrible. The hours were terrible. Um, doing 30 minute sessions with people is not very valuable. Um, they charge an insane amount to these people and obviously the trainers don't get any of it. Um, but I think working hands-on with people is a really important prerequisite to being able to work with people online. So um, that is where I started. And then I kind of branched out and started training people actually at my house. And then we opened the gym and I did personal training there. And I had a lot of people who were messaging me, um, asking me because I had, um, you know, I lost about 50 pounds in my initial weight loss journey. So I had a lot of people asking me questions about that. And Eric was the one who really encouraged me to start online coaching. So I did, and I started out with just a couple people. And um, that was 2012, I believe. I always forget if it was 2012 or 2013. Either way, a few years ago. Um, but yeah, that's how it started. What pregnancy parenting books do you recommend? Depends on the subject. I haven't read a lot of parenting. I don't... There's too many opinions and too many, too many people that just need to kind of figure out for themselves. And I think the greatest thing that you can do for parenting is talking to your spouse and finding, making sure you guys are on the same page. A really good book that I did read was called No Drama Discipline. Uh, talks a lot. It's the same author. They write uh, The Whole Brain Child, which I've heard great things about. It talks about the actual like brain function of children because um, toddlers are hard and it just kind of explains what they hear and things like that. So that was great. And I know Eric listened that, to that too. I've read a couple potty training books that's coming up so not sure um not sure how um you know if it's a certain method is great or what on until i try it but um i didn't really read any pregnancy books the only pregnancy book that i read that i loved um actually two books i read one that said does this pregnancy make me look fat really cool book um it's hard for women to gain weight in general so um, pregnancy isn't any different, even though you know it's for a good cause. So that one was helpful for me. And um, so that's what they're for, which is a breastfeeding book. I'm a huge advocate for breastfeeding. I think it's um, amazing and just really cool that we can feed our children that way. Um, Gale of Sunshine, what advice would you give someone who hates working out and has back issues but still wants to be healthy and look healthy? I have no advice until you decide you want to make a change. Um, you, I, I, nobody can make you do something that you don't enjoy. So maybe my advice would be to um, try some different types of movement and find something that you like. Because if you want to be healthy and look healthy, you need to move your body. So you're going to have to find something that you like. Um, Cassness, would Kels be up for doing a video with you on how you guys sleep train from Cam from a young age or maybe some advice on what books you guys read to help with a sleep routine? I'm guessing this question is for Eric. Um, either way, so I did a lot of research on sleep training and I eventually hired a sleep consultant. And she basically, it's like online coaching. 
um, except it was via text. She basically worked with me and kind of told me what to do, walked me through, and we got Cam on a schedule, and he was sleeping through the night um, at about four months old. So um, there's a ton of different methods, and there's a lot of information out there. So uh, when people ask me about it, I always suggest that you research wake times because that's something that was really important. Um, and kind of start there. But uh, look up some sleep consultants and get some, get some help. Um, okay, that was just a comment. Ladybug07, what advice do you give a mama of an almost two-year-old who is miserable with her weight and hates to exercise. What can I do at home? How do I get started? Mm. Well, the first thing is you're gonna have to change your, your, your mentality towards exercise. If you're miserable with your weight, um, if you wanna lose weight, you need, to, you need to eat less and you need to move more. So you can easily do those things at home, whether that means going out for a walk or kind of what I suggested to uh, the other question, uh, trying some different types of exercise, finding, see if there's something that you may enjoy. But if, you, um, if you're miserable with your weight, it's completely in your control to do something about that. Uh, Cindy Fit Mom of Three, I saw Eric mixing up some waffles with spinach, which I'm going to try. Any other recipe or mixes you guys do to incorporate more veggies? Thanks, and what supplements do you use? Um, honestly, those, the squeeze pouches are great, and they're easy, like, when you're on the go and stuff. Um, <clears throat> so those are usually just, like, a mix of fruit and veggies. Um, those and trying to mix vegetables into other stuff. Sometimes he picks them out, but usually you can sneak something in, putting peas and mac and cheese, things like that. Um, but he does eat a lot of fruit, uh, so I don't worry about it too much. Um, usually he eats some sort of green vegetable at least once a day though. Uh, what supplements do we use? Answered this before, just protein powder. M Hennessy 8 do you did you breastfeed cam if so how did you manage scheduling workouts my little boy seems to never want to part with the boob and it's a struggle getting more than 20 minutes to myself um i don't know how old your baby is so this is a little bit more difficult for me to say um but yeah i did breastfeed cameron he still breastfeeds it's pretty random at this point um but I would breastfeed him during training if he, uh, I also, like I said, he's been on a schedule, so I would schedule working out when he was sleeping. Um, Taylor Hawk, you and Eric seem to have a perfect marriage. I know that no relationship is, but you two at least seem to have it figured out. How do you guys manage to keep the spark alive and keep going through the hard times? I think something that Eric and I always repeat to people is that um, uh, we have a lot of respect for one another and that plays a really big role. Um, also, Eric is my best friend, so we are, you know, if you have a great friendship with somebody, you're able to communicate well, you're able to um, be honest with each other and things like that, so I think um, I always in, just enjoyed being around with Eric. It was, it was more than just like a romantic relationship. So we've always had that good base of like being great friends. You know, that's why we're around each other so much. And that's why we enjoy doing so many things together. So, um, but yeah, usually everybody has hard times and, you know, we're not perfect and we are you sometimes and stuff like that, but we've gotten, so much better at communicating. And that's the biggest thing is, is learning how to communicate in an effective way because everybody hears things differently. Um, Ariel Triangle, how did you let go of your former strength? I know you've had injuries and pregnancies and can't lift as heavy. How did you let go of trying to match your former strength? 
Well, I chose to focus on other things. So I feel like when you have so many other good things in your life, it's just your priority shift. So while my health and how I look and how I feel is always a priority, um, I can still have a great life without being as strong as I once was. Um, Liz V314, 3114. Losing fat, what approach do you recommend for your clients that are active? So many different sides to this. Some say calorie deficit, some say eat more, lift heavy, gain muscle, lose fat. Does it depend on the person? Uh, well, you can't gain muscle and lose fat at the same time unless you are a super beginner in your training. So, and that period doesn't last very long. So, um, if you want fat loss, there, de there definitely has to be a caloric deficit, whether that is a combination from your nutrition and activity or primarily just from your nutrition. If you're an active person, um, you're, you're not likely to have to eat. You wouldn't have to eat as little as somebody who is not as active most times. So, um, yeah, I don't know what other side there would be there but yeah you definitely unless you're a beginner you can't gain muscle and lose fat at the same time <clears throat> uh lee mccost what do you think the macro breakdown should be for someone trying to lose weight that's way too broad of a question i don't know anything about you and everybody's different everybody has different activity levels, everybody weighs different, everybody has a different amount of lean body mass. So that's an impossible question for me to answer. Um, EM Gill 13, do you take any supplements? Protein powder, cat's eye, v VSG, why are you so awesome? Thank you, that's very nice. Christine Urena, do you have any book re recommendations? I've seen you post excerpts from some ones that seem really good. Um, the excerpts I post, depending on what subject you're talking about, uh, sometimes I post stuff from my life coaching school, um, sometimes I post stuff just from reading, but if you want actual books that I've read, I have a Goodreads account, so that's an app and you can just search my name on there. It has all the books um, that I've read. NT kids outside, you've shared photos while working at home on your computer. How have you been able to do that with a kiddo around any specific things you do? Or is he ever not there with you with someone else? Cameron is on a schedule and has been on a schedule since about four months. So I work when he's sleeping. So it's very rare for me to be on my computer or working in some fashion. Uh with him there the only time he is with us when i work out he comes to the gym with us um my mom lives locally and so does eric's parents and they both come to train at the gym on the days that we train so we kind of like switch off with them helping watch him um so we get a little bit of freedom to train um but as far as like working and standing at my desk and stuff very rarely will I do that when he's awake. Like right now he's sleeping. Um, and if I have to, like say for school or something like that, Eric will watch him. Um, Blackout Fitness, what advice would you give someone who has been trying to lose body fat for three to four years and has been struggling with hormone imbalance? So I don't know your exact situation. So that's a little bit hard for me to give you advice on. Um, I would need more details there. Um, Doc, Lissa, do you plan on tan nursing or are you going to wean Cam? Also, does baby girl have a name yet? Um, if Cam wants to nurse when she nurses, I'm okay with that. Um, he's rarely nursing now, just kind of randomly. So it's completely up to him. I, I'm not making that decision for him. Um, and yes, we have a name, but we won't be telling anybody until she's born. Uh, Conundrum L, 
I always have a hard time regulating my breathing when I squat and sometimes feel like I get more out of breath than I should or lightheaded. Any tips or techniques to you use to breathe properly and efficiently? Um, I would have to see your breathing technique currently for me to help you with that, but um, if you're holding your breath for multiple reps, you probably should try just doing one rep at a time. Dustin Bell, 58. How did you handle and be there for each other when he was going through his BED? Um, so I wasn't aware um, of it when he was in the depth. When he was, I think, in the deepest part of it. I don't believe that's when we were together. Um, and when we were together... I was like eating like a bro and starving myself during the week and then we would have cheat days, which are dumb by the way, and we would like eat all day. So I guess we were doing it together. I I don't, we weren't binging because it was never like an uncontrollable kind of thing. We just were eating too much food. Um, so I didn't know when, when, uh, when it was happening. And by the time I we moved in together, it wasn't happening anymore, um, as far as I knew. So, I think that uh, he had pretty much gotten past it by that point. Uh, Ray's Reviews, when did you know Eric was the one for you? Um, our first date, which Eric took me to Chili's. It's one of the top of the line, most fantastic formal dining restaurants you can find but in all seriousness he was like super busy and I like had to chase him to even like get him to hang out with me <laughs> and so when we were we went to our first first date and I believe we just went to lunch on a random day and I was like something's different it wasn't anything specifically he said or did it was just the way that I felt when I was around him um, Jennifer W123, what is the best way to motive, motive, I'm assuming that's supposed to be motivate yourself to work out? I know I need to do it and lose weight. I just can't make myself do it. Mm, I can't help you there. <laughs> Motivation has to come from within. So if you want to make a change, you might start thinking about what's stopping you from making that change and then go from there. Um, correct those issues first and then you have to want it um because regardless even if you start and you don't really want it then you're not going to be consistent monica 0271 you three seem so very happy what do you love the best about eric besides the opposite that he's great to you both oh that's a, such like a big question so one of the things that I love about Eric is kind of going back to our communication with each other is he's not like afraid to um, call me out when I'm not being kind or when I am practicing bad habits or anything like that. And that has kind of been reciprocated. So we're very good about just really being honest with each other. Um, but still being kind. So I think that our relationship, I, I, what I love about Eric is how much he's taught me, I think would be the best way to put it. Because I think that the coolest thing about our relationship is that we've been able to grow together and it's exciting to do that because so many people grow and one, one person may be growing and changing and the other one doesn't. So while we are very different people, we are the same in a lot of ways. So it's been nice to travel a path with somebody um, and have different opinions on things, um, but still know that like, no matter what, like he's, he's loyal and he's honest. Um, Wendy Orange House, why did you switch to pose lifestyle shots just no, I just curious, not a judgment. It is still nice regardless. I don't know what that means. 
I've always posted just pictures of like me working out or Cameron or all of us together. So I don't, I don't know what you mean. <clears throat> uh, Kylene 26, how did you learn to balance cravings like sweets or any other not so nutritious foods? I just eat them in moderation. Uh, learning that the first bite tastes the same as the 10th bite. Um, so really practicing that and just taking like one or two bites of something. Um, and you know, we have a lot of junk food in our house because of Eric. So, uh, I think oddly enough, having more stuff around, um, makes it easier because it's always there. So you're like, Okay, well, I can't just like eat this stuff all day. So, but if I want to have something, I can take a bite or two. Um, so I eat meats and vegetables and fruits, but I eat plenty of cookies and non-nutritious stuff too. Kyle Hinsley, would you ever consider vlogging your Disney trips? Definitely not. That's family time. It's very important for me to be present during that stuff. Um... I take my phone out, like to take some pictures and, um, maybe post like a couple of videos on Instagram or whatever. Just, yeah, it's, it's really important for, I, I love seeing Cameron's reactions to stuff. So it's really, really important for me to just be there. Um, farewell JM. Could we hear a little about your testimony and how you got into fitness coaching? It's a really long subject. Um, if you go to my website, <laughs> teamproscience.com, there's a, a little more in-depth story there, but essentially uh, I lived a very unhealthy life physically and mentally for a long time. Um, and I chose to get help for the mental side of things. And after getting help there, it moved to the physical side of things. So I just started showing up to the gym that turned into me becoming a personal trainer. Me being a personal trainer turned into online coaching. And then, of course, online coaching um, kind of led me to bring things full circle where now I'm in the mental side of things with life coaching as well. Um, blistering treats, is this professionally done or do you just use a timer? Either way, a beautiful pic. Uh, this was from our Christmas pictures that we had done by a photographer. I'm pretty sure I tagged her in the caption. Um, Ariel trying, tr Ariel Triangle. How much time do you spend working each day, sleeping? How do you fit it all in? And what areas have you chosen not to focus on, like cleaning or seeing friends, etc.? So... I work when Cameron's sleeping, um, for the most part, how much, uh, I try to sleep eight hours a night, um, and how do I fit it all in what area, uh, we do have a, a cleaning company that cleans our house every other week, so I definitely, um, don't clean, but I am actually kind of a neat freak, so I don't mind a little dirtiness but I like things picked up so I do we clean our kitchen every night and Eric's helpful with that stuff too so that's great um obviously we take the trash out when it's full do the dishes all that kind of stuff regular housekeeping stuff we do um so uh as far as areas I choose to not focus on definitely like deep cleaning stuff in my house and um I believe that your friendships definitely take a hit when you have children um, especially if your friends are just in different places so um, my two like best friends that I've had since high school um, are both not married and both don't have children um, so you know they're my friends forever but I always feel weird being like oh well do you want to like with People with kids, it's like, oh, you get together, you let your kids play, and you kind of hang out. So it is definitely difficult to balance friendships there. Um, Ariel Triangle, do you plan to tandem breastfeed Cam a new baby, or is he going to wean? I already answered this question. If he wants to nurse, he can. 
SM Shriver, I'd love to hear about how pregnancy changes impacts your training and diet. So few resources. I actually did a whole YouTube series on this. If you, obviously this will be on YouTube. So um, if you see the powerlifting pregnancy series, there's a nutrition, a programming, and a postpartum one. <clears throat> um, Bexy Louise said, sorry. <laughs> Is Cam just a natural with learning new words or do you guys work hard with helping him? He seems to be doing really well. My son is just a bit younger than Cam and I'm trying to get him better at talking. Any tips? So we have read to Cam um, pretty much every single night since he was born. Uh, we read to him when he was still in my stomach and we obviously conversate with him, um, but we, we do work with him. Um, besides reading at night before bed, we also... Uh, read we have books available at all times so a lot of reading and then a lot of just us saying words and asking him to repeat it so yeah we definitely work with him on his vocabulary also does cam sleep through the night if so how long has he been doing that and did you sleep train uh yeah i kind of went over this already cam slept through the night since he was four months and yes we did sleep train him Adventurous Life of Mindy, how did you meet Eric? How did you get into weightlifting? Uh, I already answered how I met Eric. Um, I got into powerlifting uh, via Eric, actually. I was already working out at the gym. I just had no idea what I was doing. I was doing like machines and cardio and stuff. So um, I started to work out with him. And so he was squatting and benching and deadlifting. So he taught me. Sam Emily, would you be able to discuss the process you went through for getting Cam to sleep in his own room? Obviously, we don't have our baby yet. Da, 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 da. Did Cam start sleeping in your room in his crib and or bassinet for a few months? Was he in the room from the start? Uh what point did you move him to his own room and how did you go about going through the process of transferring him to his own room and being able to fall asleep on his own? Okay. Um, Kim was in our room for about four months. We moved him to, I would have him do some naps during the day in his crib. So he was familiar with his crib before we moved him in there at night. And when we moved him in there at night, um, I believe that's when we did sleep training or shortly thereafter. Um, so then he was sleeping through the night. Um, so we started, when we started sleep training, um, part of that is teaching them to fall asleep on their own. So <clears throat> we were like rocking him to sleep and things like that. Um, so we basically just shortened that and eventually, you know, laid him down. He would cry for a little bit, but very short period of time and uh eventually he you know at this point and probably since about four and a half months or like a week after we started sleep training we just when it was nap time or bedtime we lay him down and he goes to sleep uh steph hampton how did you know you were ready for baby two does anybody really know when they're ready i don't think that's like a you're like oh i'm ready um but I think Cam being more independent, um, the fact that, you know, him being supervised is pretty much all that's required at this point. Obviously we interact with him a lot more than that, but, um, pretty much he just can play and read books and do whatever, as long as we're like in the same room. Um, so, uh, babies don't require that much, uh, it's just them being attached to your boob, basically. <laughs> um, Meg on a journey. If you couldn't coach, what would your dream job be? Definitely some sort of um, speaking. It's funny because I kind of have stage fright, but I feel like I have. Uh, I feel like I have a good story. I'm confident in that, and I feel like the more that I learn and grow. Um, that some sort of, I hate to call it like inspirational speaking, but some, some sort of speaking. I don't know if I would write a book. I don't know. Something like that though. 
Um, Meg on a journey again. Favorite, least favorite thing about coaching. Ooh, my favorite thing about coaching is there's a lot of things that I love about coaching. My, my favorite thing is probably seeing the different kinds of progress because it's really cool to me when somebody comes to me and I mean, like obviously there's weight loss and there's women getting stronger and stuff like that, but the mental progress has always really been fascinating to me. So people building better relationships with food, people becoming more confident, that kind of thing. So, um, yeah, definitely that probably the mental progress would be my, my very favorite. My least favorite thing about coaching is probably not really ever having a day off. I could definitely probably like schedule, I know, you know, I took like Christmas off and stuff like that. Um, but at the same time, it's like, it is very flexible. I can travel and I can work from anywhere. So maybe that's not my least favorite thing, but, um, I think my least favorite thing would be coaching the uncoachable, <laughs> which, I've done a few times and that can be uh, really difficult when I know that a person is not compliant or motivated or really wanting to do it, um, but they are saying they are. So that can be a difficult place for me. Um, Rachie BB, this is a boring question, but for having three dogs and a toddler, your house always looks so clean. Please tell me you have a housekeeper. First of all, we have four dogs, and yes, we do have um, a company that cleans our house every two weeks, um, but as far as picking things up, that's all me and Eric. I just prefer not to live in a messy house, so that's just my OCD. 81712 Creature, what's the story behind your IG name? It's the name of my company. Um... The OC Beauty Room, how are you such a MILF? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Sam, Emily, would you also be able to explain the mental process you went through transitioning from competing mindset to a general health mindset with regards to lifting? Um, I remember what I used to lift look like and part of me feels like if I'm just lifting for general health enjoyment that I've somehow given up. I totally get that. Um, yeah, I totally, I, and also she asked, you know, what's the point of even posting it all kind of on social media. So you will find that there is a really big shift when your baby does get here. Um, the reason being you are now an example, you are now a role model. Um, I do cardio and I train because I want to look good. Um, but I also want to be a good example for my child and I also want to live a long time so I can be with my child. I want to be able to run with him and I want to be able to play with him and pick him up and things like that. So it becomes much more functional and as your priorities shift uh, to becoming a mom, it's kind of a natural transition. So I guess you... The best way to put it is you just stop caring as much about that stuff. I like now when I post on social media, it's, you know, something that I genuinely care about. And that's why, you know, I'll post food, but I post lifting or running or family stuff because my life has a lot of things in it that are important to me. Um, so it can be difficult. Um, and I think it's there. It's always in your mind. You know, I was this strong or I was doing this or why am I here? So, you know, your why becomes your children. Um, it's also important to note that um, a big part of my self-care is working out because it makes me feel good. So that's something to consider too. Uh, Thora, oh God, Thora Bjorg Sigmars. Don't know if this is all over or not, but here goes. I am very sorry if this is too personal, 
Were you ever afraid of being getting pregnant? Like not to accidentally have an unwanted pregnancy, but the whole process ahead and that being pregnant entails. If yes, how did you tackle it? No. I've never been afraid of being pregnant. Even after being pregnant and knowing all the stuff that you go through, postpartum, all that stuff, it still obviously didn't stop me from wanting to get pregnant again. Um, so I think there was there's a lot of feelings both times, uh, probably some anxiety, uh, being nervous, a little bit of worrying about certain things, um, but never scared. Ah. Uh, Lizzie Girls World, what's your best advice when starting your own business? It's a really broad question. Um, I would say probably just make sure that you uh, that you have a lot of self confidence because it's not easy, and make sure that you have um, a reason why you're doing what you're doing. Um, cause that will keep you going. Um, Devin, Christine, can you talk about your baby led weenie experience with Cam? How long did it take him to really start eating the food you were giving him? Um, he was, he was eating, um, parts of things that we were giving him pretty much right off the bat. Not very much. Um, but when we started that at six months, he was, he was definitely, um, eating some of the food, but I know some kids it's longer. So I don't think there's any like set. It's, I know the first, the first, uh, few months is all about them just kind of tasting and feeling textures and just kind of exploring. <clears throat> um, pimp daddy G squeeze was baby girl planned or a surprise already answered this she was planned what is your favorite ben and jerry's flavor what's it like being married to family food dude <laughs> uh favorite ben and jerry's flavor i have to go with probably the one that i've eaten the most and that's chocolate therapy i love a lot of chocolate um what's it like being married to family food dude it's exactly what it looks like online <laughs> which is rare for a lot of accounts but uh it's a lot of fun um definitely we have a lot of adventures together we spend a lot of time together um so yeah we have a lot of fun and that's great Lexi lifts, what would step one be for someone who is trying to lose weight and get back on the wagon? I've lost 100 and gained it all back. Um, I mean, the most simple way to put it is if you want to lose weight, you're going to have to eat less and move more. So I don't know if there's an actual first step, but it's more about just figuring out what habits you can change first. Lexi lifts again. How much cardio versus how much weightlifting would you recommend for someone just starting out? That's a little bit too broad of a question. Um, it needs to fit in your life. Either way, cardio or lifting. It needs to be something that's sustainable for the long term or you're not going to continue to do it. So whatever works for your life, do that. Miss Jen Pen, what's your favorite everyday healthy foods to eat while pregnant and any crazy cravings you have or had? Um, some like healthy foods. I see the thing is when I'm pregnant, I still am conscious. So while I eat a lot of foods that are not necessarily nutritious, I do that when I'm not pregnant. So not a lot changes when I am pregnant. Um, so, um, I still eat a lot of meat, a lot of vegetables, fruits, things like that. Um, but I do kind of want to snack more usually when I'm pregnant. Uh, so I really am liking, um, celery, carrots, sweet peppers, and dipping them in bolt house ranch. Um, that's something I do pretty frequently and I don't have any crazy cravings. Uh, pretty much the same thing I wanted with Kim was his Mexican food. I pretty much want burritos or could eat a burrito at any time. Um, Okay. Oh, I said I was going to stop questions, but there's only uh, one more. 
Mama's Monkey Miracle. How do you work fitness and parenthood in together on a daily basis? Do you meal plan? If so, how do you do that with Cam? What's something that Team Pro Science does that always makes you smile? Babe, you have to come answer this last question. Babe. I don't know where he is. Um, okay, fitness and parenthood in together on a daily basis. So, um, on the days we go to the gym, we own the gym, so Cameron comes with us. And I talked about this previously, but uh, we have grandparents that live locally that also come to the gym to train. Eric trains his parents, so they usually are finishing up training about the time I get there with Cameron. So they will help us um, for a little bit. And then usually my mom shows up. Um, so usually we have at least one grandparent there. Sometimes we don't, um, but we own the gym so Cam can be with us regardless. Uh, and when I do cardio, I do it before Cam wakes up. Um, I don't meal plan. We have, um, we've used HelloFresh and Blue Apron right now. We're just using HelloFresh. And otherwise we just kind of buy like some meats and vegetables and things just to have um, for lunches. Uh, I like to make a lot of meat at once, like some sort of chicken or beef or whatever. And that way I can throw it in a salad or mix it with vegetables or something like that. Um, and how do we do that with Cam? Yeah, the only thing that I really do that would be like a meal planning would be making a lot of protein at once. Baby, there's a question for you. Last question. What's something that Team Pro Science Kelsey does that always makes you smile? Always is capital letters. Always? Like, without fail? Yeah. Uh, usually, actually, there's no usually. It's like 100% of the time. I'll be doing cardio in the morning, and she always texts me first to tell me that she's awake, and that makes me happy, so. She sends me, like, some emojis or something like a 13-year-old girl. Yeah, usually it's a... Hard, kissy hard. face, and then lately it's a little baby, a little baby girl. And <laughs> Boy, so. makes me happy to know that she's awake. That I'm alive, so. Yeah, I mean, it's not like, you know, <laughs> I can't think of something you always do that makes me happy. Yeah. Except when you tell me to take out the trash. He me. loves when I tell him to take out the trash. Okay, so that's it. Finish up. So, yeah, this video is very long, so I'm going to break it up, and I'll get it posted for you guys. Thanks for watching.